Hey guys, welcome to this Grease Pencil Quick Tips video. I'll be making a series of these, so stay tuned, I'll make a playlist. And today's quick tip, we're going to be going over selections, like smarter ways to make selections. So we have Suzanne here, the monkey, it's a Grease Pencil object. We're in draw mode, we'll go to edit mode, and obviously we can hit edit, or we on the top left here, we can just hit tab. And just so we can see this better, we'll go to wireframe mode, which will be uh, clicking this button up here. I think the shortcut for that is Z. And you can see that you can pick wireframe here. So that's another shortcut that's pretty useful. And then we will go into vertex mode, uh, or you could just press one. And you can see that you can select the different vertices. So one way to uh, be smarter with your selections is let's say you wanted to select part of a stroke. So if we just wanted to select the middle here of the brow of Suzanne the brow, we could just select the point in the middle, hold control and press uh, plus on the numpad. So you can see that it expands the selection and you can use the minus to take away. And this is very useful if you just want to select part of a stroke or uh, sections of a stroke. And you can also do multiple points. So you can select, I can select this point here at the ear and then one hold shift, select it on the other ear and then hold control plus. And you can see that it selects, um, it, it expands the selection for both ends. You can do it at multiple points It'll just, uh, it'll help you out if you want to select multiple things at the same time. Another thing you can do for a smarter selection is you have extra tools here under this tool. So if you click and hold, you have the tweak tool, which just makes it so you can select one point at a time, or you can select a uh, box select, which you can do, uh, as it says a box and select using a box. But the one I like to use is uh, lasso. And with lasso, you could just draw your selection. So if I just wanted this eyeball here or eye, Boom, selected the eye, just the eye. If I wanted to select this one, boom, just the eye. If you wanted to add to that selection, you hold shift, and now we got both eyes. Uh, another good one is, is the circle select. The circle select is interesting. You can't really see it here. Let me change the background so you can see it. There we go. So you can see that there's a white circle around um, that's around my uh, cursor. And that's that's basically your brush, right? So you can actually brush select and just click and hold and select the things that you want. And that's another great way of selecting things. You can hold shift, obviously, to add more. And um, yeah, all this very useful. And you can do that once again by clicking, holding onto the toolbar here and you can select the different ones or you can hold shift and press space and you can see that it brings up all your tools from the left side and then you can click and hold on this, on the, the selection and you can select from here. Um, they also have shortcut keys here on the right. I think it's B, C and L. So let's see if we could do that now. So B. Let me select this. What if I do B? Okay, so what you have to do is you hold, hold shift, press space, and then you can press B for box select. Shift space, you can do W for tweak, and you can see it changing up here. Shift space, what was the other one? Uh, C, so uh, shift space C, and then you have your uh, circle select, or what I like to call it, it's kind of like a brush. You're like brushing the selection. Um, and those are the main tips I have for you for this. Uh, another type of selection, just as a bonus here, what you can do is you can go into your um, your tab here for object properties for your uh, stroke. And if you go into vertex group, let's say that you wanted to always select these eyes and you want to be able to select these eyes because maybe you're animating them or something. So we will select the eyes. Oh, hold shift, don't forget that. Then you can make a vertex group, hit plus here, we'll call it eyes. And then we, while this is selected, hit assign. I do it a bunch of times. And now, anytime you wanna select these eyes, so if I'm like, you know, messing over here, I'm like, oh, I really wanna select these eyes, but it's in between all these strokes that I have. You could just hit select eyes and it will select the eyes. Uh, you know, make sure to deselect everything. If I then hit eyes, boom, and you can always have selection. So this would be very useful if you have a very complicated figure and you wanna be able to uh, select different parts of the figure at all times. And this will only work on one frame. So that's my quick tips for selections and uh, smarter selection. Oh, last one. 
actually, if you press L, you'll be able to select the whole stroke. So if you just select one point, let's go into our tweak mode, and you want to select all this stroke, you can just hit L while you're in vertex, vertex mode, or point mode, I should say, right? Yeah, point mode, and you can select the whole selection. That's, a, that's another quick tip if you just want to be able to select uh, just the whole thing in one go. Obviously, you can go into this uh, stroke mode and select them this way, and that'll just select the whole stroke if you want to do it that way. Um, but yeah, those are my quick tips for selections and smarter selections. So just uh, please like, subscribe, and stick around. I'm going to be making more of these quick tips in the future. And um, there'll be a playlist that I'll list in the description down below. Thank you guys for watching, and have a wonderful day. Bye.